welcome to a new video about quick facts on controlled environment agriculture. My name is Carla Garcia, Horton America's Technical Service, and today we're going to speak about hydroponics. Sometimes when we select the components on our formula, we have some questions. So today we're going to speak about iron. Iron is a micronutrient that is essential for plant growth and development. This is a micronutrient that we should always add into our nutrient recipes. However, when we look for iron, sometimes we have different options and here we're going to, we're going to clear out which type of iron you should select when working with hydroponic systems. When we see the list of ingredients to create a nutrient recipe, we most of the time find that we need to add iron chelated. Why should we add iron in a chelated way into our nutrient recipe? Iron is an element that can easily precipitate when we mix this element with other elements. This is why we should avoid this by adding chelated iron into the nutrient recipe. However, it's not that simple. There are different types of collated iron in the market. Here we have some of the most common options. We have EDTA collated iron, we have DTPA collated iron, and we have EDDHA collated iron. So what is the difference between all these types of collated iron? The main difference between all these different kinds of collated iron is the stability. In this case, depending on the pH, we'll have a different stability on the product. So it's really important to select the type of iron that is correct for your system. When looking to add iron into our plants, sometimes we have different situations. We can be working in soil systems. We can be working in hydroponic system, which is the topic that we are learning today. And we also sometimes can add iron directly on the leaf by foliar application. So all this is acceptable. However, how should we select the correct collated iron if we are working in hydroponic systems? So let's start with the EDTA collated iron. In this case, this is the least strong collated iron in the market. This collated iron has an stability between a pH of 3 and 6. This is not recommended to be mixed in nutrient reservoirs or tanks, uh, so it's not recommended to be used for a mix in a nutrient recipe that is made in tanks or reservoir because it can cause precipitation. It, however, it is recommended to use by foliar application. You can use this product for foliar application, but you cannot use this product to mix with other elements in a tank or a reservoir when doing your nutrient solution. Then we have the DTPA chelated iron. This chelated iron has an stability between a pH of 3 and 6.5. So this range is ideal when we are working with horticultural crops in hydroponics, being this the most commonly collated iron used on the market. So if you're working with hydroponic systems, you can use DTPA collated iron to mix in on your tanks or your reservoirs. There are different kinds of DTPA collated iron. You should look for the one with less sodium. In this case, the DTPA 6% can be a good option. So last but not least, we have the EDDHA collated iron. This collated iron has an stability between a pH of 3 and 10. So here the pH is high. So we recommend to use this kind of product if you're working with a nutrient solution with a pH higher than 6.5, which is not very common. Or if you're working with alkaline soils, you can also use this product. And guess what? There are also different kinds of collated iron in this case. So if you are working with uh, EDDHA collated iron, we recommend to select the product with the highest horto horto level. In this case, this will make the product more stable. When we see all these different kinds of collated iron in the market, it can be a little bit tricky to make a selection of the product that we should use for our systems. So we hope with this video uh, you have a better understanding on the type of product that you need to select as ingredient on your formula and we recommend to share this video with someone that can also gain something useful from this information. 
So in here, we have also some recommendations. If you're looking for collected item, we have some options on our website. And if you want to keep learning about plant nutrition and fertilizer management, please look for our guide. We have a fertilizer management and plant nutrition guide that is totally free on our webpage. Please go and check all the educational resources that we have available there. Remember, in Horde Americas, we are working hard on providing the best products and the best educational resources so you can have all the tools to succeed on your projects. Remember to subscribe if you would like to keep learning about control environment agriculture. My name is Carla Garcia, Horde Americas Technical Service. See you on the next video.